Morning guys, uh, just loading up the truck with the metal detecting gear. We're going to go down to the waterfront. The water is out, so there's a bit of beach exposed which we can't normally get to. Stan was down there yesterday checking it out. He wants to meet me down there. He says he has a feeling he's going to get gold. So let's go check it out. So due to the time of year and living in Northern Ontario, if you look out my window behind me here, you will see patches of snow. The ground is still frozen and in open fields like we're passing right now, they look like they're bare. The ground is still frozen. Uh, and we do have snow in the bush, three to eight inches, depending on uh, how much shade there is. There's an example right there, guys. As soon as we hit the bush line, we're back into snow. Crap. I made sure I grabbed my shovel and I thought, gee, you don't want to forget that. And then I forgot my earphones. So we're going to have to do this uh, with the speaker on the machine, which I hate detecting with no headphones. So we've got a whole beach here that we can do if we so desire. But where I want to get is right out here where the low tide is. You can see we can go out there 60, 70 feet. You can't make this stuff up guys. I turned the machine on and I was deciding whether I wanted to go in silver coin hunting mode or just full metal. And we're getting a silver signal. <laughs> I mean, I literally turned the machine on right here. <laughs> All right, first find of 2021 is right here in my hand. I think it's a coin. Oh, a penny. <laughs> Could have went either way, guys. Could have went either way. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. This does stink like sewage. Rotting something. This whole beach smells terrible. Yeah, I just dug that up 12 inches down. And those screws right there were ringing up like coins. Surface find spreader got some hooks on there some spinners it's actually so hot right now I got to take that hoodie off I wear it more to keep the dirt and mud off my regular clothes but can't lose the hat because the hair is just it's COVID hair as you guys know so I'm gonna ha I'm gonna be baking from the top down all right, 1942, that's my third penny in 15 minutes. At least this one is in the right era for silver, so there is hope down here. Way over there across the bay was the old pier, turn of the century. I've detected there before, I never found anything. All of this beach here is 20s, 30s, and I've never found a silver on this beach either, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe the people were just too poor back then, I don't know. Believe it or not, the beach is still frozen. You get down two inches and it's just solid. It's got a penny, I think, right here. And literally cannot dig it. Frozen. Frozen solid, and all you're going to do is damage silver coins if we were to find one doing that. So I might move out a little deeper where there would have been a little bit more water. It might not be frozen. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's great to be digging. It's spring, but I could do without all the pennies, I think. Well, there's part of the reason I don't detect these beaches. It's disheartening. The amount of broken glass down here. I'll take that out of there, but I mean, I could literally spend hours down here picking up crap, you know, especially dangerous crap. So I don't come because it uh, disheartens me, to be honest. Oh, there it is, beach digging at its finest. Some kind of dock brace or something, I don't know. 66. I mean, 
We're right in that silver era, guys. I don't know why. I never find silver. Check out this key I found. Look at there's a little key guy on there. He's got a top hat, glasses, and a cane. Yeah, he's got a cane in his hand. <laughs> That's pretty cool. International key. All right, can you guys see that? It's a coin or a button or something. Oh, I think it's another key. Look, there's, yeah, it's a key. Another key in some frozen beach that I just dug up here. Let's see if it's got a key guy on him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so this key was found 10 inches from the other one. I've never seen that before. I don't know if all international keys have that. Uh, was that their mascot, their logo? That's pretty darn cool. All right, guys, I've been here a couple hours. Kind of tired of digging pennies and keys. Stan was supposed to meet me down here. He was here this morning, bright and early. I was working on my solar panels, so I didn't meet him this morning. He actually found a gold ring. So I was gonna surprise you guys and show you the ring. I'll have to get him to send me a picture of it. It was a tiny, tiny little 10 karat gold ring. He actually came over, stopped at my house. Uh, it must be a tow ring but it gave us both hope for the rest of the day. So he was supposed to go home for lunch and come back and meet me. I haven't seen him yet. I'm not sure if he's coming back or not. I'll probably stay another hour, but I'll insert that image right here. Uh, and you guys can check out Stan's first gold ring of the season. Twenty-eight to thirty-two. Uh, I don't know. Usually silver is a solid, more solid number, but we'll see. Nope. No, we won't see. Ugh. It's just like cement. It's frozen. I need a jackhammer. I'm gonna have to leave that one. Dang. That was a good signal too. I hate leaving them. I hate leaving anything good behind, but yeah, probably wasn't good. Let's be honest, it wasn't good. <laughs> so still really early in the season, guys. A little naive to be out here, I think, because I've had to leave about eight, nine good signals that for sure were coins. Well, not a coin. Some kind of hub. Pretty big anyway, whatever it is, I don't know. Yeah, the finds are getting worse. I don't know, old chunk of lead or something. Not even worth showing. So I think I'm gonna call it here. I've been here over three hours, no sign of Stan. No sign of gold. So I think I've done all I can for the first outing of the year, guys. Not the greatest in terms of finds, but hey, we got out digging. The gear is still working and I'll have everything cleaned up and charged. Next time I won't forget my headset, so we'll be banging and ready to go. It's gonna take a, at least a week here before we can start uh, considering some of the better spots because everything is, it's just still frozen. So hang in there guys, and I'll catch you in the next adventure. Ooh, yeah, it's not me. It's, well, it is me. I smell like sewage now, <laughs> my hands. That smells like Yeti frost. Yeah, that's the good stuff. This smells like turds. Don't dig without gloves, folks. <laughs>So this is like the preheat right here and then we put it in the good boiler at the back and then we run it through one of Tom's old work socks. <laughs>